Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi! And you know, in all the history of movie making, one thing has been very prominent and very important. And what is that? All the way from Apocalypse Now, the Napalm Strike. You remember that scene, right? No, I do not. Never seen it. Never seen it. All the way to Arnold Schwarzenegger's Get to the chopper! What was that? Helicopters. Predator. Predator. Never Helicopters and helicopter-ish type vehicles okay. have been all over the movies. And what we wanted to do was take a cool helicopter-like Okay. Vehicle from a movie. Okay. And remake it. So this was from Terminator. No. 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 Because this... Terminator has Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. That's right. Yeah. He was, he was actually in a couple films, Josh. He was. But this little guy is actually uh, based off of the AT99 Scorpion. A team. No. From Avatar. Avatar. Mm -hmm. The Airbender guy. No. It's uh, the Blue People. The Blue People. Yeah. With tails. With tails. Blue people with tails, I am right on board with you now. We're on the same page. Yes. This is yes. good. Okay, cool. Now, it's not an exact replica, as some of you Avatar buffs uh, may note, but one, one major thing that's not the same about it is that this gun right here, there's a bunch of them, like, all going out like this. Okay. But it was directly that. underneath It was directly underneath the props, and they wouldn't have been able to fly like that. That would, would be aerodynamically irresponsible. Right. Yes. Come on, James Cameron. That would not work. James Cameron, your helicopter thing wouldn't have flown. But you know what? It was a fantasy world that he created it, yes. where magical things happen, like movies with bad acting and laughable dialogue getting Oscar nominations. So, we made a few modifications. Uh, it's a little bit more of a simple design. Uh, Chad, our director, put this together out of foam. Did an amazing job, too. And he's actually here with us today. Hard believe to believe it, it. Yes. Come on Come in, in, Chad. Chad. Hello. And, uh, walk us through what you did. Well, I, it's, it's all Dollar Tree or Dollar Store foam. Yes. Um, I think I probably used a total of three or four sheets and um, it's like three or four dollars yeah. and now this Depron here I got online somewhere I don't remember but uh, but it's pretty much almost all foam there's a little bit of wood in here and I made it all so you can take it apart there's velcro and uh, all the pieces come off and now that's the um, hobby king board in there right yeah that's the hobby king board which David will go over all the electronics okay. with you I just did the art so the most important thing about building something like this is proportions. A lot of times people won't have proper proportions. So what I did is I started with these because we knew what the prop size was going to be. And then every piece on it I would compare to the protector rings for the props. And that's how I would get scale. So I knew the tail, the length of the tail here was about the same distance as the length of this here and that's how I kept the proportions so okay. um, but why don't you guys go talk to David about how yeah. it works and All right, uh, yeah David's outside because we'll he's down there in the house so uh, let's go talk to him about let's the luxury all right all right here we go here we go you got the transmitter I do no? not I do oh hey Dude, guys our good sneak. friend there we are thank you David yeah. Now, All right, David, tell us a little bit about the guts of this thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, we can put it down okay. or, so we can plug it in. So I can show you as well. Because under the hood here, see, I can take out this part as well. Here's the quadcopter board from Hobby King. I reflashed that with a different software called Power Tower. So it's actually controlling two servos and the two motors to tilt them to control forward motion. You tilt both and control yaw motion. You tilt one back and one forth, and then uh, aileron is is different differential motor RPMs. thrust. So so it's like thrust vectoring. Yeah, exactly. You nice. got it. So yeah, it's really simple. It's not a lot to it. So I see. Those are two what magnetic induction Hobby King servos. Yeah, they're really nice. And, uh, nice what? and smooth. Park 480 motors. Yeah, exactly from and Hobby King too, and 10 inch props. Okay. So, and you guys actually went down in size on the props, right? Yeah, we did because these motors are really powerful. It had a lot of thrust. Okay. And the thing only weighs 1.4 kilos. And with 10 inch prop, it hovers at a half a stick. Oh, cool. So. Cool. And it looks what, plus 40 speed controls. Yeah. Two of those. Excellent. Yeah, they're really, they're too big, but that's what we had laying around. Excellent. Okay, so let's plug it in and I'm going to give right. you some tips on how to fly it. Oh, I get okay. to fly it. Yeah, you get to fly it. I get to fly it. You're going to so, be taught fly it. How about that? Wow. Wow. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I've never flown something so cool. From what, Predator, you said? Yeah, Predator. Trash. From Predator. Mm -hmm. So let's test the control surfaces All first. All right. Okay, so 
Forward, backwards, differential thrust, and yaw motion. Nice. That's all there is to it. That's just, all there is? Yeah. Trouble is, it gets to in, into a pendulum motion. Okay. Uh, like piloted. Uh, if you go too fast forward and then brake, the body is going to so continue up. swinging. So okay. you have to be aware of that. Okay. That's the only quirky thing about it. Okay. Otherwise, it should be flying fine. Really? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. There we go. Well, I don't think it likes to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we got a little bit of repairs to do, so. Yeah. yeah. Here you go, David. Okay, thank you. Back thank in the you, basement David. then. All right, yep. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. All right, bye. Go to the basement. Well, you'll, you, every maiden, you learn something, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And we learned that um, it needs repaired. Yes, we yeah. learned that pendulums don't fly well. Pendulums do not fly well. But you know what? I'm sure they'll modify that fin and. and uh, We'll, 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 we'll get it going in the air. Yeah. So basically, if we do get it going in the air, you guys are going to see a montage video. Yeah. Yeah, we want you to get to see it flying. Yeah. So we want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Hobby King, for sponsoring this episode. And uh, make sure you guys uh, go to the forum, flighttest.com, talk it up. Yeah. And thank you for what you're doing on the forum, too. It's really growing quick. Absolutely. Yeah. And keep subscribing to the channel. And I have a feeling that you can watch the montage video right about now. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't know. I got hit right in the left. <laughs> now, um, the sad thing about this uh, turkey is it never got its last rights. No, it didn't. No, it was just brutally ended. Pow. Yeah, never got to say goodbye to his family. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. I think we deserve to give this turkey this one thing. last flight. One last flight. And that's, that's exactly right. what we're going to do. We are going to make a turkey fly one more time.